All right, guys, I promised to walk around on my 86 Corvette. So um, I recently had it repainted again. Well, I mean, I had it painted maybe 20 years ago, maybe 20 plus years ago. Originally, the car was a bright silver, and I had it redone 20 plus years ago in this uh, new color. It's called, uh, well, it's not really a new color anymore. It's actually called Bright Aqua Metallica. It's a 92 uh, Corvette um, color. Um, so years ago, I had the whole car ripped apart and every sing single, you know, piece of it repainted pretty painstakingly, I might add, because, I mean, everything has to come off if you want to do a color change. But the guy who did it was this old-timer. He was amazing, um, real meticulous, and uh, the car came out and totally flawless. But, you know, fast forward 20 plus years and it had some road rash and stuff like that. So I had it redone again um, by a Corvette restoration shop in Bulrica, Mass. Called the Bowtie Shop. They did a fantastic job. I didn't have a lot of work done to it. Just, uh, you know, the front end, the hood, you know, the sides. You know, I didn't have the whole car painted. It really didn't need it. But what they did was amazing. I mean, it color matched perfectly. I have no complaints. Those guys are amazing over there. So again, it's an 86. I've done a lot of work to it. I've had the car since 1994. So over the years, I used to race it, autocross race it, drag race it, all kinds of things. So I've done a tremendous amount of modifications to it. Last winter, I put a new interior in it. So these are core brew seats, new carpeting, sound deading material, all new plastics, door panels. The steering wheel is also, uh, well, it's a Budnick steering wheel, which matches the, uh, the Budnick wheels I have on it. It was a 17 inch. Um, I redid all the, the gauges as well, as you can see. Those are from a company called Intellitronics. I uh, originally, and I love the original Atari style dash, but I had so many problems over the years. I had it rebuilt a number of times and it's just, they never just seemed to work right. So I just kind of gave up. I went with those gauges and I couldn't be happier. They're really nice. So in the back, I have this uh, harness bar that I installed. It's back in the autocross days. I used to mount my camera to it. Now I just got a fire extinguisher up on it. Um, I think the company was Arizona Speed Marine that made that harness bar. I bought it at Corvettes of Carlisle, God, probably in the late 90s. I don't know if it's available now. The hood louvers are from Greenwood. Um, they're really nice. They're actually fully functional. So underneath you have like this kind of catch pan that catches any water. So you don't get any water drippage on the motor or anything. I don't know if they really reduced any heat temps from underneath the engine. You know, in the engine bay, it still gets pretty hot down there. So I kind of did it more for aesthetics, just to break up the longness of the nose on these cars. And I also installed that plate. That is not functional. You can get them functional, or you, at least you used to. Um, the company was called Forced Air. You could, you could uh, get them where they actually went right into your intake tied into your intake but I never did it it was more for aesthetics on those on that so anyways so that's the exterior of the car it's got full mass of full master exhaust full three inch and two um hooker long tube headers so let me pop the hood I'll show you underneath So this is a, um, it's actually a 385. It's bored 40 over with a uh, 375 forged Eagle crank. It has uh, Brodex track one heads, you know, H beam rods. The pistons are uh, from Diamond. Um, you know, it's a, it's a ported mini ram on top. You know, it's got like comp cam, roller lifters, push rods. Pro Magnum uh, 1.6 rockers. The transmission in it is, uh, I had it all redone 
recently. It's a, you know, it's a 700 R4, but I have a Vigilante 3200 stall converter in it. Um, and they kind of hopped it up a little bit for me. Um, the rear end, I ended up um, swapping out the old Dana 36 and put a uh, Dana 44 in it with 345 gears. It's got all exotic muscle rear suspension. I don't know if I can catch you underneath there. I could use some polishing, but you get the point. So again, the rims are from Budnick. I get a lot of questions about that. Um, they're called Cobalts on Eagle um, F1 tires. Could you actually use some tires? The tires are getting pretty old. So and there's those heat vents, those, those baffles I was talking about that catch the rainwater. I guess back in the day you could order them with or without those. Again, I don't know if they're still available. I get a lot of questions. People ask me where I got them, this and that, and I got them from Greenwood. But, you know, a long time ago. So there you have it. Let me, um, let me start her up. Get a good look at those gauges. I know they're pretty controversial. Some people like to keep the older gauges in, but. there you have it hope you enjoyed it i know i have for a lot of years these cars i don't think ever get the respect they deserve you know for the money you pay for them they're pretty they're pretty nice cars as far as i'm concerned i don't know maybe i'm a little biased because i've had the car for forever <laughs> but uh i don't know i love it that's all that matters take care